In the new Halloween update, they released five new cars. But to get them, we need to finish the candy corn hunt. And in today's video, I showed how to get the candies in the easy mode and medium difficulty. Yeah, guys, as you know, there's a new update here in Brookhaven. I was really excited for this new update. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! I want a lot of candies. Wait a second. Who is this really scary guy? He has a bunch of tombstones around him. Get away from me! I just realized I don't have a costume on. First, I will use this orange jacket. Jacket. And I will also get this witch hat. Done! I am super stylish now. Guys, as you know, there's a bunch of new cars that were added in the game. And we will need to find all the candies to get the cars. If you don't know how this works, don't worry. I'm going to show it to you. We have the easy, medium, hard, extreme, and insane mode. Each one of them will unlock a car for us. But each time it gets harder and harder. And on this side, there are some tips like ladders are required for the extreme and insane difficulty. We also don't need any game pass to finish the game. On the other side, there's also some hints too. Like some of them are not in buildings or outer areas. And insane can be anywhere. Whoa, that's gonna be really hard. All right, let's try the easy one first. And on easy mode, we need to find 12 different candy corns. They are literally the easiest ones to find since they are all right at the start of the game. By the way, this makes a really different sound effect. In the past, this sound didn't exist. All right, I already grabbed four. Dude, there's one little near the sign. Five! Let's see. There's one hidden in these bushes. Even one hidden behind this tree. Now I already have seven candies. We just need a couple more. Oh! All right. There's one right here in the fountain. The next one is here next to the police department. All right. That's nine. Another near the bushes. And there's one close to the pool. Cool. We have 11 out of 12 candy corns now. I just need to find another one. Where is it? I can't see it anywhere. The only place I didn't go through is in the place. Playground. Maybe it's here. I found it. It was near the subway. I did it. And we unlocked the vehicle. Let's take a look at this one here. Basically, this is a square-shaped pumpkin car. There's some candy corn on top of it too. And if you don't know, this car is really old here in Brookhaven. It's not new at all. I entered this game that I created and you can see this is the same car from last year's update. This car was launched more than three years ago. So there's nothing new about it really. They just added a few things to make it a bit different. Let me test the speed of this thing right now. I will use turbo level 3 for that. Hey, watch out! So this is the max speed this pumpkin car can go. Whoa! Wait! Alright, this car can get really fast if you have turbo on. By the way, let me see what happens when I change the colors. Dude! He is so ugly in other colors. Whoa, dude! Why is this car so bad? Well, it's a square car. Can't hope for too much. Yeah, easy mode is certainly pretty easy. That's why in this video we're also going to do medium mode and get all the candies there too. In this mode, we need to find 20 candies spread all around the map. The first one is inside the fountain. Dude, it made another noise. Did you hear it? Looks like the sound effect changed when I got this one. Okay, let's get this one here too. Oh, on the side of the subway, there's another one too. Now coming here to Brookhaven Bank, we can find another one. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but in the easy mode, all the candy were placed at the spawn. Now it looks like they can come all the way here. Here. It's starting to get harder already. Let's try to find the other candies. Nice! I found one close to the playground. Looks like there's another one close to the daycare. Candy, candy, where are you? We need to find all the candy to get the next car. All right, there's another one here too. Dude, this other one is so far away. It's in front of Club Brooks. There's another one in front of the police department. Looks like there's one more in front of the hospital too. This one's so far from the spawn. I can't imagine how this is going to be in the next mode. I'm really scared to find out. I bet it's going to be hard. Coming here to the post office, we can find another one too. And we already have 12 out of 20. We just need a couple more to finish. Maybe we can find one inside this pumpkin? Well, looks like that's a no. It's really starting to get hard. I can't find them anymore. Oh, I found it. It's right in front of Brooks Diner. There's another one in front of these bushes too. If you haven't noticed, there's a bunch of people trying to find them too. So let's try to find them all as fast as possible so we can get them before everyone else does. There's one in front of the mall. Oh, another in front of the supermarket. The next candy is hidden on the side of this tree. Now I have no clue where the next one can be. We need to check in front of all the stores to see if we didn't miss any. I can't even use my drone to look around better. Looks like the devs deactivated it so we can't cheat. Oh, there's another one in front of Brooks Diner. Dude, 
dude! We only need two more to complete this mode. Now, where are these last ones hiding? Wait! I found one! And it was in front of the school just waiting for me. There's one more right here just around the corner, too. It's on the back of the hospital. You just need a small jump to get it. And done! We unlocked another car! What is that? It's basically a weird-looking pumpkin. That's so spooky! Alright, so this is the first car we got. Now we are going to place the new one next to it, which is this one. Dude! This is huge! I wasn't expecting this car to be so big. One thing that I just noticed is that there's a bunch of fire particles coming out the back. This is so cool! What happens if I get fire to come out of it too? Dude! That's so much fire! By the way, this is the only car that can make two types of fire come out of it. One's coming out of this tombstone and the other from the top of the pumpkin. Kinda reminds me of a candle. I really like this car. Wait, what is that? People are getting their houses decorated already. This is so creepy. I'm out. Let's put this car at max speed. Let's see how much faster this car can get. All right, speed 200 in turbo stage three. Let's see. Dude, it goes too fast. It's practically flying. Apparently it can go really damn fast. Whoa, get out of my way. I actually do like it a lot. It has to be one of my favorite Halloween cars we got. Never seen anything like it. Let's go back to the easy difficulty car. I told you guys that it was already on the last update, right? We can literally compare those side by side. Let's see if they have any big differences between them. Well, if we look at it from here, we can see they have the same size on all accounts. I really can't see much of a difference at all. The only thing of note is all the new candy corn places on top of it, while the older version of it didn't have as many. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I'm recording all these hunt videos on a public server, and as you can see, a bunch of subs have gathered to play with me. And if you want to show up on videos and play Roblox with me sometimes, you should go follow my Roblox profile. It's at NandoYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button, and you'll be able to do just that. Beyond that, we'll be doing all the difficulties of the hunts together. We'll go from easy all the way to insane, so please come play with us. One thing we can do is grab the car from the older updates and make it look just like the one we have on this one. As you can see in the extreme difficulty, you can clearly see that it is the same car, but painted dark blue as well as with a few details added on top of that. So to start off, we grab this car and paint it blue. Well, it needs to be a darker shade than that. Something like this certainly works by the picture we saw. The biggest problem is that we can't paint the glass green like the picture, but we work with what we got. But as you can see, it does look a lot like the one from this update. Just changing the color already makes it look like it. Now the one we got on hard, which is this black monster truck with red details. We are also able to do a fake version of it in Brookhaven. To do that, we'll need this car right here. Whoa! The game is starting to lag out right now. Probably because of how many people are on the servers right now. We'll start by painting it black first. Now on the back, we can get some of these skeletons. I'll get one more so he isn't lonely. And apparently on top of it, there's also a coffin. So let's place one over there. I got it there but I don't think it looks exactly like I wanted it to. But it does still look like a Halloween car. Maybe painting it orange will make it look better. Well, I do think that looks fairly nice. I'll just leave that right here. In this video, we completed both the easy and the medium difficulty. We're still gonna do hard, extreme, and to finish it off the insane one. But those will be on our next videos, so please keep looking on the channel and subscribe to get notified as soon as it comes out. It won't be tomorrow as today, I'll still be posting about the other difficulties of the hunt and of course showing where you can find all of them. So while that's happening, you should watch this video on screen right now. You're gonna like it a lot. Have a good one.